Good morning, good morning, good morning. I love you guys. You see how I started my day off. I did my reading, I did my cleaning. And now I have to hurry up and do some makeup because I have an important Zoom call that's in about like 20 minutes. So we're gonna do like a really quick face. We're not doing anything crazy. So I ain't gonna talk much because I gotta hurry up. Because I just checked my emails and it was like, oh my gosh. I want to talk to you about this idea. Please tell me that you're available at 11:30. So I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I'm available. So I just want to do some makeup really quickly. I'm not doing anything heavy. It's just enough that's just presentable for Zoom. And yeah, so I'm gonna just shut up talking, and you guys want to just see me help and do some makeup really quickly, okay? to start the zoom Whew. i had so much running around to do just now so they're about to let me in all of a sudden all four of them start barking yeah. at the same time Hi, hey. how, how are, you? are you i'm great good to see you again yes yes good to see you again so soon <laughs> yes it's always great to see you so soon <laughs> guys i just i don't know what to say like let me zoom out first of all like i'm in y'all face right now so i don't know like it's it's so crazy like wow god has like i'm gonna tell you guys okay i think i think i need to start really talking to you guys like oh by the way do you see you see the back the background it's so much more work we gotta do so don't think that this is it this is this is not it but i just wanted to come in here and just talk to you guys like i just I just feel really thankful. I feel really blessed. I feel very honored and real talk to talk, like, like girl to girl. Like I want to zoom. In. I want y'all to be here with me right now. Don't mind my nails; they're getting done. But I don't know. Sidebar: Is it just me, or sometimes like you just be just don't know what you want to do with your nails? Sometimes you just want to be nubbed out, or sometimes you just want to be long. Sometimes you just want to be short. Sometimes you just want to. I don't know. So today I just really felt like want to be numbed out. But I'm just so thankful for God. Like I am utterly thankful for how He is creating my story how he is allowing for me to see my story while I'm still in my storm. And I'm just so thankful for just the things that God is doing for me right now. There's a lot of things that I am working on right now that I'm not gonna speak about as of yet because I don't want to do this yet. Y'all will know in due time, trust me, y'all will know. Y'all will be the first to know. Besides my mama, my daddy, my husband, my son, y'all will be the first ones to know y'all will be the second to them to know i'm just so thankful for how god is manifesting in my life i'm so thankful for god is how he's working on me like i still have a lot of growth you know i'm not perfect 
I still get angry sometimes and I have to learn to control my anger. There's still things that I'm working on. Me, I still listen to certain music. I still do certain things. Like, I'm not saying that I'm 100% perfect. I am strictly by the Bible that I sit. No, I still have a lot of work. But within my work, I still feel... I still see the things that God is doing for me. Like, he is... I just had to take this moment to praise God. I just really just had to take this moment to say something about him. Just the things that he's doing for me in my life. And this year has been so trying for me. This year just has been something that was so different for me as far as seeing the shift. You know, whenever something in your life is so much beyond you and beyond who you are as a person and you've... You've done every single thing that you think that you can have possibly done and things are still going on in your life where it's out of your control. That's when you know God is unto something. God is up to something. Let me tell you, the things that I've been through this year, mentally for the past two years, I have not had a mental break. I have been going through a lot. I don't show what I go through. Like right now, you don't know if I'm going through something right now unless I tell you. I don't show you because God has taught me to not look like what I'm going through. God has gave me great parents to show, to let everyone know. You're not about to know what I'm going through by how I look unless I tell you. And I have a story to tell and I want to tell you guys my story. So one of these days I will sit down and have some tea. I have tea now. Have some tea. Well, I actually just water down a little bit. I swear I feel like I have a hole in my mouth. Never fail. Especially every time I have a white shirt on. Never felt ever since I was young. But um, I just want to let you guys know, like, God is so great. He's so magnificent. And when you're going through something like that in your life, it's a shift that's coming. And instead of embracing the pain, rejoice. Embrace the journey. And a lot of things didn't change into my life until I started to embrace my journey. Until I started to embrace... The storm that I am in. I had to learn to have peace and chaos. I even had to have peace within myself in the midst of the eye of the storm. I had to. When I had no peace anywhere else around me, I had to have peace with myself. And once I developed that peace within myself, I learned to control my environment. I learned to have peace within the chaos that's going on in my life. And once you do that, it's like you grab a hold to something. You grab a hold to your life and it helps for you to understand that this is bigger than you. This is not a natural fight. This is a spiritual fight that you're in. You're the you're the the guinea pig that's going through it. You're just going through the wheel right now. And it's okay. Like I had to learn to appreciate every emotion. You know, you think you take it for granted. You take sadness. For, well, I'm not gonna say you. I will say me. I took sadness for granted. I took happiness for granted. I took peace for granted. I took all the emotions for granted, even anger. So I had to learn to appreciate anger. And I know you're probably saying, why would you want to appreciate anger? Why not? It's an emotion. The key to appreciating your emotions is to not allow for that emotion to control you. You have to control your emotions. So I had to learn the, 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 the peace within anger. I had to appreciate my anger because that's an emotion that I feel. I feel a certain way. I, I have an emotion for a reason. I don't like what you just did. I'm angry with you. But I used to allow my anger to control me so much where I lost who I was. Which then made me say, oh, I can't stand being angry. You don't want to see me angry. So now when I'm angry, I try to breathe. And I try to assess why am I angry? Why is this anger bothering me so much? I'm not saying I developed that skill, no. At certain times, I feel like I can overcome that skill. And at certain times, it's like someone just pushing that button. It's like, all right, Holy Ghost, chill right, right there real quick, real quick. Boom, 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 it's time to go in. <laughs> but no, you, you have to learn how to control it. And I had a slip up the other day and I didn't get angry, but I got sarcastically angry. And it was like, all right, Dom, you got to chill. You can't do that either. So now you have to learn how to control that part of you. Because you're not, you got to realize what you're going through isn't just for you. And it isn't just for that moment. There's something greater that's coming. 
And if you don't acknowledge that now, and if you don't at least try to work on being better, I'm not asking for you to be perfect. That's Jesus. That's God. That's them. They got that. But God's asking for you to at least try to be better, at least try to grow. And in a part of at least trying, you'd be ready the next time. So from this lesson, say for instance, at this time and you had anger, you see what you did wrong. You just got a lesson out of that. You knew what you did wrong. You got the lesson out of that. And it's not a curse. It's a blessing. Everything, failure, success is all a lesson. It's all a blessing. Every last one of it. Because if you don't fail, you never know how to grow. You don't know how you grew. If you don't fail, that's how you learn. So in that test, all right, cool. I learned and realized I shouldn't do it this way. The next time it come up, because it's always going to come back up. The next time it come up, you got to take what you learned from this time, try to adapt it, and then there may be a chance you may slip up. So now you got to learn what you slipped up at in this, this time, this test, and take those two things to the next time. So you just keep carrying your lessons. That's why it's, it's so important for you to at least try. If you at least try, you're going to learn something out of it. And not just say, yeah, I did it. No, like you really got to wholeheartedly try so I'm just really, really thankful for God and how he just allowed for me to even appreciate the emotion of sadness. Like now when I get sad, it's like, I feel sad. Okay, this is why I'm sad. I'm allowing myself to feel it, but I'm also controlling how much. Once I get to a level, all right, all right, this is taking me too low. All right, cool. Let's get back up. And then once you have that joy again, you appreciate joy even more because you know what it's like to feel sad. You're not your best when you're sad. So I just, I just learned to cope with a lot of different emotions and a lot. I just learned to cope with this journey differently. It was in July when my mom spiritually slapped me. She spiritually slapped the mess out of me and allowed for me to align myself right back with God and to be able to feel the shift, to be a part of the shift and not, and when I say be a part of the shift, it's more so rejoicing in the shift and not rejoicing after the shift. Once I received the blessing and then now I want to say, oh, I see what you was doing, Father. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, I'm learning to thank him in the midst of the shift. I'm learning to thank him in the eye of the storm because I had waves around me, felt like they was going to drown me. That's how, that's how strong, that's how high those waves were in my life, those spiritual, they were so strong guys. And one day I will sit down and have tea time with you guys and tell you what I went through. <sighs> but God, when I went through a lot, when I was going through the understanding part of my journey, this was, this was last week, actually. I think it was last week. I was reading first Peter 4, 13 i believe that's what it was let me let me check i could be wrong let's see yes yes you know this one was a little bit different yes but it was first peter it's really first peter 4 12 and 13 and I, i'm not saying it because i want you to actually go and read it like just go look it up real quick go look up first peter 4 12 to 13 and when i read I read out loud. That's why I love when no one's here or when it's early, really early, everyone's asleep. I like to talk to God, like read the Bible. Like it's, I'm not reading like it's a book and out art that, no, I'm reading like I'm really having a real conversation. Like I'm reading how, you know, what would entertain me. And then I broke it down and it was said, but rejoice, but rejoice. And in that, it made me say, it don't matter what I'm going through. Rejoice in the fact that you're going through a trial right now. Rejoice in the fact that you're going through a storm because you know that there's joy, exceeding joy towards the end of the storm. So yes, it looks crazy, but you don't want to just always be the person that thank God. Well, I'm going to speak for me. I keep saying you, but I didn't always want to be the person that thank God after the fact. And he look at me like, but you already knew who I was. I want God to see, I want Jesus to see that I am rejoicing him right now. Right now, like I'm thanking him ahead of time in advance because I know that there's something greater that's coming. 
and what I'm going through isn't just for me to go through. This is for me to tell my story to others. It's for me to help somebody else. The whole goal in life is not just about the opportunities or the money or the materialistic things. Yes, I love it, but that's not what it's all about. It's more so about being able to get souls to Christ. It's being able to tell souls and to teach them and to tell them your story so that they can say, dang, you went through that? Dang, you went through that? Then if you went through it, I could get through it too. I don't feel like when someone tells me that it's not belittling my situation as though it was nothing. No, it's just letting someone know that you too went through something. You too went through something. That means I can get through something as well. If someone is always going through something, that is a burden that is heavy for them. So what I went through may not have been as much as you went through, or it could be more than what you went through, but at the end of the day, it's still something that I went through. And I can't look at someone else's situation and say, well, you ain't go through what I went through. No, you didn't because you don't have the grace for what I've had. I don't have the grace for what you went through. So it's not here for us to say, well, I went through more than you. No, we still went through something. And that's what God built in us to have that capacity to deal with what we went through. And I still went through something. You still went through something. You cried. I cried. We were sad. We was happy. We was up and we were down. It don't matter. It's still something that you went through. Whether it's greater than someone else's or not. So we can't judge someone else's storm it's for what? It's something that they went through that changed, that shifted them. Some people don't need a lot for a shift. Some people need a whole lot for a shift. You know what I'm saying? So I just feel like in my shift, God has blessed me. It's not for me just to say, oh, I went through it. No, it's for me to say, God got me through this. Like, God got me through this. Going over my whole life, I've seen how I went through things in life. But I also see how God protected me through the things that I was going through. So I just had to say that because I just really got off this great Zoom call. And I said, you know what? I'm going to say something. And I want you guys to really just take heed to what I'm saying. And not just from me, but get closer with God. Get get better Get get closer in your spiritual your spiritual realm of your life. Get 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 back into the spirit. If you are, continue going. I'm happy for you. And if you fell off, I fell off. You know, I put others before God. I I neglected him and I didn't give him his glory. I gave other people his glory. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like we all make mistakes. We we do that. We're not perfect. But the goal is to see where you went wrong, to learn from that to try your best to not go there, but to also encourage others to Christ. So that's all I had to really say, guys. Like, I just really had to say that. And I just really wanted to like give you guys a piece of my mind. I don't normally say it like this. I don't normally go in depth, but I really felt like I had to. So I just wanted to give God his glory. I just wanted to talk about him a little bit, talk about him a little bit. But right now, what I'm about to do is I'm about to get some work done because I just got off this Zoom call. So I wanna make sure that I give them these guys their work what they want immediately so i actually have to go back until listening to this i was recording the notes and i actually put some notes on my phone so because i left my pen and paper downstairs rushing but um so yeah so i'm about to get here do some work i do want to get some editing done i really want to get the editing out the way who's this hello you got three seconds for me. If you don't talk in three seconds, I'm sorry, you're not important. You call me, you should be ready. That's how I see it. If you call me, you should be ready. These scam likely people, they keep bothering me. And then every time I answer it, sometimes it's nothing but travel agency people. I didn't ask for nothing. <laughs> so you got three seconds. If you call me and those three seconds is not a hello or a response, click. Sorry. Just it already said scam likely on it. Like you're lucky I picked up, but I'm expecting a phone call and I don't know what number, so I have to pick up every number until a person is trying to call me. But I just want to say I'm just thankful. I'm about to get some work done. After I get work done, I do want to edit. I have some videos I really do need to edit. I did really bad with editing last week. Like I did. All right, maybe the month. I was really bad with editing. It's so much going on. I'm trying to like, I had nothing but these Zoom calls with all this information I had to do. And I'm working on stuff and I can't say it just yet. So by me doing all of that stuff, it was hard for me to really schedule myself and going through my son and dealing with my son. It was so much, okay, it was so much. But I'm getting better with organizing myself. We are, it's a work in progress. I see my flaws and I know it, yes. 
But I do want to say this though before, because I'm taking up a lot of time right now. I really didn't want to take up this much time. I want to prepare for my meal prep for tomorrow. So meal prepping is, is tomorrow. Normally it's supposed to be my Wednesdays or Sundays, but because I had a lot of stuff going on Monday and Tuesday that I had to do a lot, a lot of stuff. So I said, it's okay, I'm gonna prepare all day today. So I wanna get some editing and I'm gonna go food shopping, get some stuff, try to come up with some creative meals for the week. And yeah, and that's what that's what we're gonna do. We just wanna get some work done. I'm gonna have my music blast and like always when music is my escape, we'll reply to some emails and stuff. So I'm really, really excited about this, guys. Like, I'm really, really excited for the future that will hold to me. I have a whole lot of curiosity of what God has planned, but I'm patiently waiting on his time to reveal because in his time is the best time better than my time. So I'm grateful for that. I already hit the five minute mark. It's time for this battery to change and I gotta upload. So I gotta do a lot of stuff. So I'll see you guys.